Copyright disclaimer under section 107 of the Copyright Act 1976 allowance is made for fair use for purposes such as criticism, comment, news reporting, teaching, scholarship, education, and research non-profit. Educational purpose are used to balance in favor of fair use. Welcome back to Elegant Chronicles. Today, I will show you a video of a person who actually valued fine arts and he devoted his life to it. He belongs to a very elegant and cultural loving family. And he is also very popular worldwide for promoting Indian fine arts. Known as Abhinindra Nath Tagore. Because he created, supported and assisted many projects and works on fine arts collection of India. If you think that you don't have time and money for any social service. Then my friends you need to see this video. How a man from such an influential family gave his precious time to arts and promoted arts and its works. So my friends, let's begin our video now. Abhinindra Nath Tagore was a significant artist of Indian modern arts. He was born in 7 NTH of August. In 1871, in a place called Jorashanko in Kolkata, West Bengal. Abhinindra Nath Tagore belongs to a very intellectual Bengali family of Gunendra Nath Tagore. He and his two brothers Samendra Nath and Gaganendra Nath has devoted their lives for painting in Indian arts. Abhinindra Nath Tagore is also a nephew of great poet Rabindra Nath Tagore. And also, Abhinindra Nath is popular among Indian artists for creating many ancient Indian arts, Mughal arts, and old Rajput arts. He is also renowned worldwide for his splendid writings. Abhinindra Nath Tagore completed his education from Sanskrit College in 1890. He also created marvelous paintings based on living of Lord Krishna. In 1890, Tagore got married to a beautiful lady, Sohasini Devi. Tagore also attended the studio of Mr. Charjay L. Palmer, an English painter, and practiced portrait and oil painting with him. Abhinindra Nath also worked with E.B. Havel to collect special art collections at the Calcutta School of Art. His brother Gaganendra Nath also assisted him for this project. He always showed the Indian spiritualism in his art. Abhinindra Nath was also appointed as the vice principal at the Government College of Art in Kolkata. In 1890s Sadhana magazine and Chitrangada exhibited many illustrations of Abhinindra Nath Tagore. He also attended many several international exhibitions like London and Paris exhibition in 1913 and Japanese exhibition in 1919. A board division of fine arts was established by Abhinindra Nath where he invited most of the artists from all over India. He also wrote many collections of stories for the children in Bengali. But sadly, Abhinindra Nath Tagore, the man of arts and a splendid author, took his last breath in December 5, 1951. So my friends, what did you learn from this great man? It is always better to learn from the past to make a better future. My friends, if you give even a small amount of contribution to preserve your own culture, it will be enough for the civilization to survive and show you a better future from the blunders which happened in past. Thank you my friends for watching this video. Please do like, share and subscribe my channel for more videos like this. Thank you.